Did you know that you can actually use your AirTags to trigger NFC shortcuts and automations on your phone? You can do all kinds of stuff with this, including controlling your smart home. I'm gonna show you how and give you some cool ideas for creating automations with your AirTags. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane, if this is your first time here, and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit, with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. So we talk a lot about smart home and automations and stuff like that on this channel. So today I wanted to bring you a little tip in case you didn't already know about it, utilizing your AirTags. Now, if you don't already know what AirTags are, essentially they're these little Bluetooth trackers that uh, you can use to help find your stuff. I actually attach them to keys, remote controls, AirPod cases. Hey, where's my Apple TV remote? Looking for Apple TV remote. It's nearby. Pinging Apple TV remote now. But you may not know that you can actually use your AirTags to trigger shortcut automations with your iPhone. So that's what we're talking about today. I can actually tap my iPhone to my AirTag to start any number of custom automations to include controlling my smart home. And it's important to note that this does not override the AirTag's lost item capability. You can still use the Find My app or Siri to track your AirTags, but we can also utilize them to do even more thanks to that shortcut and NFC automation. I'll give you some ideas at the end of this video, but first let me show you how easy it is to set this up. So let's open up the Shortcuts app on your iPhone, the one you want to be able to scan the AirTag with tap the automation tab, and then tap the plus icon and we'll create a new personal automation. Look for NFC, then tap scan and scan your AirTag. Give it a name, then tap next, and now we can build our automation. You can literally do so much with this, so get creative, and like I said, I'll share some simple ideas you know, at the end of this video, but today we're gonna use this to disarm our alarm you know, security system and unlock the front door. So I'll tap add action and type in home, select control home, now simply look for the accessories that you want to control. I'll choose my front door lock and then the security system. Tap next. Make sure the accessory states are what you want you know, to happen. Tap next. Be sure to turn off, ask before running, and done, it's that easy. Now when I tap my iPhone to the AirTag, it's gonna run that automation, unlocking my front door and disarming the security system. Alternatively, you can set this up to do the opposite for when you leave home if you want. Now you might notice that we also get this notification when we scan the AirTag. This is a safety feature that you know is built in by Apple. I haven't found a way to disable that little notification. Your shortcut and everything else will still work fine, but you will have to deal with that notification if anyone has found a way to disable this, let me know in the comments and I'll pin that comment. But now that you can see what's possible, it's time to really get creative and utilize those little air tags in ways that really fit your life. I'll give you some examples uh, for stuff you can do. As you saw, I use an air tag on my Apple TV remote. My daughter always watches TV on this TV, especially in the summertime, which means she uses her profile on the Apple TV. And that also means that every time I turn on the TV to watch it. I have to switch it back to my profile. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's a little bit annoying. So what I did was create an automation for that AirTag on the Apple TV remote to turn the TV on and switch it to my profile just by tapping it with my phone. And what's cool about this one, well, and any of these really, is that you can customize the same AirTag to do different things for different iPhones. So when I tap my iPhone to that Apple Apple TV, you know, AirTag, it will switch to my profile, but I can also configure it for when my wife taps her iPhone to switch to her profile. So pretty cool there. 
If you keep an AirTag on your gym bag, you can create automations that start a workout on your watch and starts playing your gym time playlist, or do the same thing if you keep one you know, on your bicycle and go for bicycle rides and stuff like that. Your work bag AirTag maybe can be used to start or stop your work focus mode, play your favorite focus playlist, and begins tracking time through your favorite time tracking app. My daughter and wife both have AirPod cases with an AirTag built in, that way they can always track their AirPods even if the battery dies. So uh, we can configure these AirTags to start music in the Apple Music app and even ask them what they wanna listen to, which is really cool. A lot of people like to use AirTags in the car in case their, you know, their car is ever stolen or just to help them find their car in a parking lot. So you can set up your car AirTag to um, maybe turn on do not disturb, get driving directions home from anywhere, and text your significant other that you're on the way. We discussed using the key ring air tag to unlock the front door and turn off the security system, but the key ring would also be a great one to pull up you know, reminders or maybe a grocery list automatically. Maybe combine these, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing. You can have the shortcut get your current location and if you're home, unlock the front door, maybe disarm the security system, otherwise open your family grocery list. That way, if I'm at the grocery store, I can tap this same AirTag, but instead of unlocking my front door, it will pull up my family's grocery list while I'm at the store. That would also be great for a travel bag. Scan the AirTag to pull up your list of things to bring so you don't forget anything. There are lots of wallets nowadays that have AirTag holders built in. These same automations would be great for those AirTags on your wallets also. These are just some ideas. Please share your creative ideas and ways that you might use AirTags or any NFC tag automations really to make your life easier. Always great to hear what other people are doing. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of stuff and want to see more videos like this using shortcuts and automations. And if you did like this one, you might like this video right over here showing you how you can take your HomeKit automations to the next level. Don't forget to subscribe for new HomeKit videos and live streams every week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you over in the next video.